One of the brilliant things about running and something we do go on about quite a bit here at GTN is the need for minimal kit and its accessibility. You can just head out the door and do it. Although having the correct footwear that will help you reach your goals and your needs can, well will, make all the difference to your running. You do, of course, need to ask yourself, though, how much trail running are you intending to do? What is the predominant surface of the trails that you'll be running on? How are you coping with your current run shoes? And what level of support will you need running off-road compared to on-road? As you can see, there is actually quite a lot you need to think about before investing in a pair of shoes. So we're going to be covering all the aspects that you need to consider. Grip is probably the first thing you think of when you think of trail shoes and it's also usually the first thing that sends a normal runner with an average pair of running shoes looking for an alternative so they can stay upright and when you look at a trail shoe compared to a normal road shoe those are also the first things that look significantly different it is the bottom that outer sole with the grip and the type of grip on trail shoes really does vary and this is where the first consideration you need to make is actually thinking about what type of trails you want to be running on when you look closely you'll notice there are very small pieces of rubber type material that are quite flexible for gripping on slippery surfaces and then most trail shoes will have lugs like these basically big pieces of material that are better for gripping on softer surfaces many of these grippy parts will be facing slightly backwards to enhance that grip and it's worth being just aware of your shoes ability to hold mud especially if you're running somewhere that's quite greasy and sort of that heavy mud it can end up just clogging up into the grips and then you lose all grip and you've also got a very heavy pair of shoes Another consideration when it comes to grip is thinking about the mixed terrain. So maybe to get to your trails, you actually have to run on asphalt, which some trail shoes can be a little bit slippy and you might even want a shoe that's sort of somewhere in the middle. And I do quite a lot of my running in a shoe that's actually officially designed for road, but it's quite grippy. And I find it works well on the trails when I've got a mixture of both. Running off-road, the surface tends to be a little tougher on your feet, so harder to navigate and the kind of surface you wouldn't want to run barefoot in. And it's a balance between finding a shoe that is flexible and light enough for your running needs, but gives you enough protection so that if, for example, you stood on a stone, it would dissipate that pressure across your foot. Now, as a result, trail shoes do tend to be a little bit heavier because they've got that slightly thicker midsole to give your foot that protection. It makes them very robust. And if you're using them for training, especially when it comes to running in the off season, that's not really a problem and you'll find that most brands will offer a racing type of trail shoe as well so it gives you that lighter version but do just bear in mind that it'll give you maybe a little less protection we're getting accustomed to seeing road shoes with a rather thick midsole in fact up to 40 mil thick as per the world athletic new rules but surprisingly well unsurprisingly this hasn't transferred to trail shoes and for a very good reason imagine if you were running on an uneven surface an extra 40 mil higher than you need to be well it's a recipe for a potential twisted ankle or even worse now trail shoes do tend to have a slightly wider base of support so slightly wider grip maybe than your foot that's just to add that extra area for grip and i talked about the midsole being firmer but it isn't really going to be thicker because you still want to have a nice low center of gravity which again helps for you staying up right on the trail if you are used to cushioned or even carbon plated road shoes then trail shoes are really going to feel quite different but you won't need quite as much cushioning because on the whole trails are going to be softer surface whether that's sand whether it's gravel or deep mud like we have in the uk it's automatically going to be kinder on your joints and it's worth wearing a decent pair of socks trail shoes are built to be robust they need to withstand your foot moving under the varying angles as you negotiate that uneven footing as a result, the inner needs to last and withstand this extra stress. Your foot is also likely to be moving in different directions to normal road or track running. So to keep your feet comfortable, make sure you wear a pair of socks that stay in place and deliver what you need depending on the climate you're running in. On that note, I would really recommend trying before you buy as trail shoes, even in the same brand, can 
quite often vary in the feel of the fit compared to your road shoe. And sometimes they tend to feel a little bit tighter because they are less flexible. You might actually opt for going up half a size so you can wear a thicker pair of socks to keep your feet warm and comfortable when running in the winter. And all of this, we're not saying you have to have a pair of trail shoes to go and run on the trails, just saying that it can enhance that running experience if you've got footwear that's going to match up with what you're running on. I personally save my hardcore trail shoes for the really muddy depths of winter and then I tend to run in my everyday trainer when I'm doing a bit of running on and off the trail. So the choice really is yours but hopefully you've enjoyed this and this is giving you some insight into running on the trails and giving you a bit of inspiration to go out there and experiment with where you live. Give us a like if you've enjoyed it. Remember you can subscribe, just find the globe and hit that. You can also follow us on our social media channels.